everybody and welcome back it is once again Marissa um, today for our tutorial Tuesday we are going to be making a dishcloth so for the last couple of weeks I've taught you guys some of the basic crochet crochet stitches we started the very first week with the um, how to create a slip knot how to do a chain stitch we did a single crochet a half double crochet and a double crochet so what we're going to do today is we're going to be using our single crochet and our half double crochet and we're going to make a very basic dishcloth for the kitchen or for the bathroom whichever you would like to use it for so today we're going to be using this lily sugar and cream yarn you can use whichever brand that you want the thing about this is it needs to be a hundred percent cotton so because you're using something that's going to be getting wet, the cotton yarn works better. So I know that there are several brands that have 100% cotton. This is what I had on hand. So this is what we're going to use. The color of this one is Sea Breeze. It is a very pretty minty color. And um, this is a size four worsted weight and it calls for a size H hook or a five millimeter hook. Um, I don't want to use my H hook, so I've got a 525 millimeter, my I hook that I've been using, and so this is what I'm going to stick with. So I'm going to be using the same hook as I've been using, and we are just going to go ahead and get started. So again, you're going to make your slip knot. I leave a nice long tail. Now this yarn is going to feel a little bit different if you've been using the acrylic yarn. This yarn kind of behaves a little bit different. It's actually very soft. Um, I like using this yarn personally. Um, you know, that's it's kind of up to you what you like and what you don't like. So I'm just gonna pull some off my skein there and we are going to start by chaining 33. Now when you do your chain, don't forget you don't want it too loose and you don't want it too tight, you want it to be nice and even. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33. Okay, so we've got our 33. So we are going to turn our work and the way that we're going to start this is we're going to be doing a combination of the stitches. So we're not going to start here, we're going to start here. Okay, so the first stitch that we are going to do instead of yarning over, we're going to do our single crochet, which means you go through the top loop there, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through two loops. The next stitch, we're going to put in a half double crochet. So remember half double is yarn over, go through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. We're going to go back to our single and this is going to alternate this way throughout your entire project. So you will get a feel for this. It's going to be kind of difficult these first couple of rows and then you'll get a feel for it and you will be able to um, increase your speed. So we're going to do a single, insert, pull up a loop yarn over, pull through two, and a half double. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, pull through three. Single, and half double. And remember, when you're doing this, you gotta make sure your chain doesn't get twisted so remember I told you that I keep my fingers on the chain like this as I'm going. So that was our half double, so we're going to do our single. And if you get mixed up, it's okay, don't panic. Just pull out what you messed up on and you can go back and fix it. 
There's our half double, single, half double, single, half double. Nope, and see that was incorrect. I tried to do a double crochet there, so I'm just going to pull out that one stitch. So I'm just gonna frog that back to that one there. And we're going to try that again. So half double, pull through all three. Single. Half. Single. Half. And I say this in my head, you guys. Like, this is literally when I'm crocheting on my own. I'm not talking to the camera. I literally will go single half, single half, so that I can stay on track. Single, half, single, half, single, half. Single, half, single, half, single. Now, I am going to, at the end here, I did a single and I'm going to do another single in this end stitch. So at the end, I did two singles. I must have gotten off somewhere because you should, that last stitch should be a single. So I may have messed up on my pattern somewhere. But that's okay, we're gonna make it work. So when you get to your end, don't forget that very last stitch there, and then we're going to chain up one, two, and turn our work. So when you do this row, remember because we're on our second row now, you're going to be going through both stitches. So there's the top and the, or the front and the back loop there. You're going to go through both of those instead of just the front loop. And we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing. <clears throat> because we've chained up two, that's going to count as our half double crochet. So we're going to go into this stitch right here. And we're going to single crochet into that stitch. And then we're going to half double. Single. Half. Oop. And we're going to continue like that all the way to the end. And I will meet you back there. All right, so I've got two stitches left down here. You guys don't forget, this is what I was talking about. You've got the stitch here, which is easy to see, but you cannot forget that you've got this stitch down here in your turning chain at the very end of your work. If you miss that stitch, you're going to be in trouble. So this is going to be a half. And this last one will be a single. 
So don't forget to get in there. That one can be a little bit difficult and do your single, okay? You're going to chain up two, you're going to turn your work and you're gonna continue this until you get as much dishcloth as you want. Now this right here measures, should be about 10 inches I believe. Let's see here. So just a little more than 10 inches. It looks like it's about 11 inches. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to continue this pattern. Sorry guys. You're going to want to continue this pattern until you've got the same amount of distance this way. So if this is 11 inches, you need to have it 11 inches tall. I don't know how many rows that's going to be. I have not worked up this pattern yet. So I'm going to be doing it along with you guys. Um, but we are going to continue working this until next week. And when we come back next week, I'm going to show you how to uh, finish this off. I'm going to show you how to sew in your ends. And we're going to put a loop on this as well. And then we may learn something new. I haven't decided completely yet. So if you have an idea or a request of something that you would like to learn how to do, please leave that in the comments below. Um, I know that there are a lot of you that don't follow these videos and that's perfectly fine. Um, but if you have a suggestion as well of something you would like to see or something that you wanted to learn when you were a beginner, please put those suggestions in. I know several of you already crochet and so you guys are kind of waiting for us to catch up with you and get to the blanket. Either way, you're gonna have a very nice um, dishcloth when you get done. If you get to the, if you get in this guys, and you find out that you hate doing the switching back and forth, pick one stitch and do it that way. You could do a row of single crochet and a row of double crochet. You could do it all double crochet. You could do it all single crochet. This is completely up to you. I like this pattern and that's why I chose it. If you don't like this pattern, that's okay. You can make this work because they're both single stitches. And so you're not, you know, skipping anything um, and things like that. So as long as you keep your count of your 32 stitches each way, that's what matters. So if you want to do 32 and you want the whole thing to be half double crochets, do the whole thing in half doubles. If you want it to be all single crochet, do it all single crochet. That is completely and totally up to you. This is going to be your dishcloth and you are going to use it. So again, if you have any questions, you can put those in the comments below. Do have the Facebook group. I know a lot of you may not want to join another Facebook group. I completely understand that, but it is available. It will be in the description box below. So if you would like to click in there, I did upload um, all of my past um, blankets that I have made. So those pictures are in there. Please share your work. That's another place to ask questions. I do have uh, some of my in real life friends on there and they are also crocheters and would be more than happy to answer questions and things like that. So um, you guys, I will be traveling at the end of this week. So I may not be able to get back to you immediately if you have a question, but I will get back to you in a couple of days. So just give me some time. My uh, nephew is graduating high school and um, it will be a road trip for me to get out there. But I'm going to have some family time, which I really, really need right now. So I love you guys. I will see you soon. And remember, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to try things. Bye, guys.